And hello, race fans. Welcome back to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Final practice for the Indianapolis 100 drivers. 34 cars have already qualified. They have taken their starting positions. And for the final time today, they will be rolling out one more time to feel out their cars before tomorrow's big race, the Indianapolis 100. And coming up just a little bit later today, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or noon, depending on when the premiere shows up, will be the season opening race to the Arcom Papa John's Truck Series. And like I said, good chunk of these drivers are taking part in that race and a part of that full season. So it's going to be fun. And we're hoping that you guys can come right back here at either noon or 2 p.m. Eastern Time to uh, watch some of the... Our Com Papa John's Truck Series action take place right here at the at, at the grandest stage, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So first car coming out onto the track is the number 16, Ryan Durrani. Ryan Durrani now officially on the clock. Durrani will be officially starting in the 20th position in tomorrow's race. So this gonna be interesting to see how what kind of to see what what he's gonna be able to do I mean back in the throwback Daytona 500 I believe he qualified somewhere inside of the seventh row so I would believe 13th in the race I would have to say and I believe that's where he finished in that throwback Daytona 500 all the way back in February so should be interesting to see if he can uh, improve here in the Indianapolis 100 of 40.166. This is only just the beginning of the first of the final 10 minute practice session for these drivers. Jordan Watt of 40.113. The times will get progressively faster just as more cars come out onto the racetrack. There's Elijah going in the five. He'll be starting 12th. Whoop. My mistake. My bad. <laughs> But he'll be starting 12th in uh, tomorrow's Indianapolis 100. Car number two to the top of the charts. That is the number two of Landon Smith Jr. Landon Smith Jr., 39-918. Kathy Jabbar, Nathan Stapleton now broken into that top 39-second bracket into the top three. As for Landon Smith Jr., he will be starting 26th in tomorrow's big day. So he's so he and even so he's got his work cut out for him. 100% has his work cut out for him for tomorrow's race. Titan Nicholas, a 39, 693. More drivers breaking into that 39 second bracket, and at these times are progressively getting faster by the lap. And also another thing. We've alluded to it a lot, and we're going to allude to it some more. Come tomorrow, the draft. The draft is going to be such a key, especially at a time like this where you're trying to really feel out your car, see how it's going to do in the draft, how it will pull up, how it will suck up to other cars. So, that, I mean, it's, it's going to be fun to watch, especially when they're double wide. Throughout most of throughout most of the pack, most of the pack will win all 34 of these cars are going to be bunched up. And once that green flag drops, oh boy, it's going to get interesting. When they get strung out, and then a couple laps later, they'll be back to double file and aggressively racing. So, should be interesting. The Ganassi boys are actually doing really well. Not in a good position though, but they're gonna wisely get out of this one. That's Nathan Stapleton at the top of the charts. With a 39-589, Jordan Watt has driven a stick between both of the Ganassi guys. A 39-600 for the 63. Chris Reynolds was second with a 39-610. And Kathy Jabbar has been knocked out of the top 10 and is now in 12th with a 39.758. So now with five minutes remaining coming up here, your top 10 goes as follows. Casey Wells goes to the top with a 39.587. Right, well, now, not anymore. That was, uh, 
Hold on, let me actually get my entry list back out. <laughs> that was the 88. Car 88, Trey Smith has just gone to the top. 39.547. Second is Owen Miles with a 39.574. That puts Casey Wells back to third. Nathan Stapleton fourth. Jordan Watt fifth. Running in sixth, that is the nine of uh, Chris, Chris Reynolds. Wells go, goes back to the top, 39.525 for her. In seventh is Logan Williams. Eighth, Austin Christie, who will be taking a provisional in tomorrow's race. Ninth, Titan Nicholas, and completing your top ten, and that is the 29 of Jeff Leafler. As we're closing in on four minutes to go. And there she is, the fastest driver out on the racetrack right now. We just nearly, nearly had a crash between Ryan Kendall and Juan Rodriguez. That was extremely close. But thankfully, we're still good to go. We're still clean and green. And uh, nothing bad has happened. So good, 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 ring, good r racing awareness, actually by these guys. Coming up on three and a half minutes to go. Nathan Stapleton trying to get underneath his teammate for track position. It's not an official race position, but it's just track position to move ahead of um, Chris Reynolds. However, he does not have the proper help, but he is going to have somewhat of an advantage going through the corners. And Juan Rodriguez, Trey Smith go to second and third on the grid. 39,541 for the 41 and 39,547 for Trey Smith. Let's see if we can go find Trey Smith. I believe we passed him. There he is. Right behind him is Emily Anderson. Anderson will be starting 29th. 29th for tomorrow's race. She was fast in opening practice and uh, kind of fell back a little bit in qualifying. So hopefully she does good in tomorrow's race. And hopefully she does good in the season opener of the Papa John's Truck Series later today. Either at either noon or 2 p.m. Eastern. Should be fun to watch it to see her get back behind the wheel of a stock truck. And uh, go 20 laps around here. So it's going to be fun to see Emily Anderson officially back in action for full-time racing in the Arcon Papa John's Truck Series. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. Here for final practice in the Indianapolis 100. There's Stephen Cologne in the number one machine. Stephen Cologne officially starts ninth in tomorrow's race. Alongside one of his Penske, another one of his Penske teammates. First of all, Val Mosco will be starting outside of the front row alongside Colin Cropley. And speaking of our pole sitter, Cropley, uh, let's see where he is running right now. Sixth, actually, with a 39.564. Not too bad for him, but as for our pole sitter, a 39.709 in the 19th position, racing alongside Alex Ramps. Ramps right now is 28th with a 39.821. Not, not a good thing for him. But then again, this is just practice sessions. So anything can really change here. See if we can find another one of his Penske teammates. That's Wyatt Walker in the number 22. Walker, surprisingly, I believe this, along with many other drivers, this is his first Indianapolis 100 that he will be taking a part of once they drop the green flag. And he will be starting his first Indianapolis 100 in the fourth position. The fourth spot. How about this? Wyatt Walker, you usually see him racing a stock car or a truck, whichever, which he'll be taking part in the Papa John's Truck Series season opener later today. But uh, nonetheless, getting behind the wheel of an Indy car, going speeds of 225 miles an hour, that's got to be pretty entertaining for him. And we wish him the best of luck. His teammate, Landon Smith Jr., went back to the top of the 39-475. As time, as the, there will be more time added on to the clock, so that way these drivers can get one more lap in. 
And uh, I would have to believe... Oh, we got a smoker. That is Ryan Kendall. I believe. I wonder if he actually crashed. Oh, oh, there is a crash. The Penske teammates. Cologne and Landon Smith Jr. Who was that that piled in? That was Nathan Stapleton driving on three wheels. Oh, boy. Don't make this bigger than what it needs to be. Okay, thank goodness. But either way... Work will be done to these cars. Ryan Kendall has just hit the wall. Work will be done to these cars before tomorrow's big day. So it should be interesting. Should be very interesting indeed. And I believe times are finalized. So that means Landon Smith Jr. goes to the top of the charts for the final practice session. Penske has just actually been pretty good when it comes to speed. So not too bad for them. Well, to some degree, hopefully we see the racing be a little bit more calmer than what we've seen about two years ago in the previous Indianapolis 100 back in 2020. And uh, hopefully it's it's still good and exciting and uh, good, exciting action for the 40 lapper and uh, should be fun to watch. But uh, coming up later today, as I mentioned throughout this entire broadcast, will be the season opener to the Arcom Papa John's Truck Series that will be taking place at either noon, or East, noon Eastern or 2 p.m. Eastern time. You'll know as soon as the premiere, uh, premiere uh, comes up in your subscription feed. So hopefully you guys can come on back and uh, watch the season opener for the Truck Series right here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indiana Bash. So that's going to be really fun to watch. And then tomorrow will be the big day, the Indianapolis 100 for all 34 drivers as they take the green flag for the 40 laps of action. That is going to be absolutely exhilarating amazing yes I know I'm not the best with words but at least you know what I mean either way it's gonna be fun thank you guys a lot for watching I'm Elijah Leonard signing out we'll see you guys later today for the Papa John's truck series and if you don't make it to that that's okay because we still got the Indianapolis 100 so if you don't make it to today's race we'll see you tomorrow's race the Indianapolis 100